Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. I know y'all been asking, where's T? Where's Lovely T? There's been no new videos. We ain't seen you. Honey, Lovely T's in her skin, okay? Anyways, I want to tell you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the overwhelming love and support. When I tell you, it's been a crazy few days, okay? I did not expect to sell out of so much tea. People are like, she probably only had 100 bags of tea. Bullshit, bitch. I had a bunch of tea, bottles, all types of just everything. You know, but I did not expect to sell out that much. We literally spent four straight days printing over 200 invoices, over 100 labels. It was so many orders that came through. And I, and I want to really thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. You guys showed up and showed out. Thank you to everyone who came to my tea party. It was so good seeing some of the usual suspects, honey. Y'all were looking so beautiful. And thank you to the new people that I got to meet who came out to support. We had a wonderful time. And I'm just, I'm like... I'm still on cloud nine, okay? The reviews are coming in, and I want to go ahead and shout out these two ladies here. Thank you so much for the reviews on Instagram and on Twitter. It is just amazing. It's a blessing to have people sending me tweets and messages and text messages. Like, I'm using your bottle. I'm drinking your tea. I love it. I'll be back. You guys, we're trying to get more in. I'm trying to hire people, you know, to help with the shipping process and get all that stuff done. So please give me about another week, week and a half, and we will have more tea and more supplies for you guys. I did not expect it to go that fast. So I don't know why I always underestimate myself. You know what I'm saying? I feel like deep down inside, I'm still that little insecure little girl where it's like I have an idea and there's things I want to do. But, you know, I'm still scared. Like, are people going to bite? Are people going to take it seriously? Can people really see me as a business owner and an entrepreneur? And you guys did. You know what I'm saying? And you guys give me the confidence and the strength to keep going even when the world tells me I'm not shit, I'm never going to be shit. Like, that stuff is still unfortunately embedded in my mind. And it takes me every day looking in the mirror, having to talk to myself and say, you know what, T, you are somebody. And there's people out here who love you regardless of the fact, regardless of what you were told, regardless of the mistakes you made in your past. There are people who really love and support you. There are genuine people in your life. You know what I'm saying? The fake motherfuckers got weeded out quick, fast, and in a hurry. You know what I mean? The people who are still here are the people that just mean the most to me and who really stepped up and had my back. And I thank everybody who helped me with the tea party. I thank everybody who came through. I thank all you guys for showing up, showing out, supporting, liking the videos. You know, it's very hard to, you know, to birth something. You know what I mean? And, and, and put your all into it. Not just your idea, but... I took all my savings, like literally all my money, and I invested into this company because I believed in myself, and I was just praying that you all would believe in me too, and you guys did. Oh, yeah, and one last shout out. Look at this card, honey. Look at this. One of my subscribers sent this to me. I want to go ahead and shout out Gil. Look at this big old card. This is beautiful. I'm going to open it up. It says, congratulations. This tea is piping hot. I mean, this is dope. When I tell you, when I opened this up, I was so surprised. Like, y'all go hard for me, and it just keeps me so humble, and I'm um, sorry that y'all can see, like, my stomach and stuff, crop top. You know, other people sent me flowers who couldn't be there. Like, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me, you guys. So, anyways, honey, I am here to spill some tea because I know y'all been damn waiting, okay? It's been a crazy week. There's been a lot of stories. Thank you guys for keeping me abreast because it's been hard trying to keep up with everything and package orders and stuff like that. But um, anyways, I'm loving Jada Pinkett's Red Table Talk. I remember her coming out with this like back in 2012 and watching it with her mother and Willow way back then. And I loved it. And I'm glad that she's turned into an entire series on Facebook. Let me ask you something, Willow. If mm -hmm. there was one thing you could change about your life, what would it be? <laughs> if I had to change one thing about my life, it would probably be... Wouldn't be famous. Really? Why? Because when you're famous, it's so hard. Tell you know? me that. Like, if you want to, let's say, like, a regular girl right. is going to the bookstore. Right. It's ten times harder right. to go everywhere. Right. But some people are like, oh, it's so easy. And I'm like, as fast as you can get there, it's going to take me ten more minutes. Right. To get there. Right. Because it's like... I have to call security, this, that. Well, just... that's been a real issue for you. Tell me, let's talk about that for a minute, security. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad that she's turned into an entire series on Facebook. 
I just love her dynamic with her children. I know for a lot of years, a lot of people really worried and said these kids had too much freedom. But to be honest with you, they've turned out okay, okay? These kids don't have no criminal records. They're not out here, you know. Yeah, they might dress kind of funny and shit like that. But for the most part, they're good children. Today, we are talking about parenting. What's happening? We all are coming into parenting with our own childhood traumas. We had a very different lifestyle than you guys. We just thought that you guys just sprouted up out of the ground. Yeah. Just... <laughs> there is an aspect of your life that is completely unknown to me. We alive. <laughs> I don't want to be like everybody else. I felt like you guys had too much say. <laughs> I'm serious. I think Will and Jada have tried their best. And I'm really glad. You know, I was really happy watching the Red Table Talk. It's very positive. And I feel like I always leave with some type of positivity or some type of mental note. So I'm really loving that. Okay, now over the weekend, Takashi 6 9 and Chief Keith got into it. They were going back and forth and threatening each other. It was Chicago versus New York. Can you tell me what you want to know? I don't know what the man. Y'all know how to fuck with me. Y'all know what the fuck with me. Shoot! I'm looking at him like who? Big homie look at me like sure I'm like who? Hole in his head, he a dolphin. Put a hole in his head, he a dolphin. You a dolphin? Yo nigga said they heard me, but I ain't heard you. Get the fuck up out my fucking face before I act a fool. These niggas said they heard me, I ain't heard you. Get the fuck up out my fucking face before I How mad would y'all be if I said I was the new king of Chicago? I really try to give two fucks about this beef. This whole New York versus Chirac, Chirac versus New York beef. All of these rappers are getting into it on social media. I tried my hardest to give a fuck and I just came to the conclusion that, you know what? I don't give a fuck. Next case. So now, on to the next case, okay? What's going down is Riff Raff. If you guys do not know everybody's, you know, favorite rapper after Mac Miller and Dan Post Malone, okay? Riff Raff is out here being accused of raping little girls. Putting them on the party bus, slipping shit in their drinks and having sex with them. If you guys have not read these Facebook messages about Riff Raff and what he's done to these little girls, two young girls came out and basically blasted him. And since these two teenagers have come out to blast Riff Raff, it's been a lot more women coming out to corroborate their stories. So right now his tour has been canceled. If you guys want to read more about that, the link will be down below. Definitely check that out. I've noticed a lot of people are not really talking about him. I noticed a lot of people aren't really talking about it, but I'm going to go ahead and address the situation. He's definitely getting me too. And if you guys want to read more about it, the link will be down below, like I said. So now on to the main story of this video, okay? So yesterday, Cardi B went off. She was talking about the whole Star Brim situation. So let me go ahead and break this all down to y'all because I know a lot of y'all were really confused. So if you guys don't know, Azealia Banks was the one who put all the information out there, honey, okay? After beefing with RuPaul, her ass decided to be messy and let the whole world know that Star Brim basically was arrested by the feds and that she's looking at doing 15 months in prison, okay? So then after Azealia Banks' tweet went viral, Cardi B wrote an entire dissertation, honey, defending her homegirl, Star Brim. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys this long-ass Telenova novel, okay? I'm going to read this to you guys. Let me put on my damn Mother Goose glasses. Check this out. So Cardi B says, since y'all like to talk so much shit and y'all bitches is mad happy as the star died or something, let me give you the rundown. For two and a half years, Star been out on bail. She got caught by the feds and lost a lot of shit. Never asked nobody for shit. Got a nine to five trying to figure things out. She started bartending, something that is new to her and is difficult. And is difficult since NYC strip clubs give hard times to brown skin bartenders and barely hires them. Yup, I said it. But you know what? She ain't stopped being great. She was able to save thousands of dollars, pay for a good lawyer, brought two cars, a Jeep, and a pink Porsche, pay them off, made well over enough for her bid. And when she come home, she got a great business plan for when she touches back in town. You're mad happy because she's away or like she got snatched, but she already been prepared for this. Turn herself in early because she want to get that shit over with and do her time. I mean, why wouldn't she? After she finished her bid, no more probation, can travel everywhere and can live a normal love life. Don't worry about falling in love knowing in the back of her mind she got to do time. In so, I think she meant I'm. I'm so proud of her. I've seen her growth, and I see how responsible and determined she is. A super go-getter, never asking nobody for shit. That's my hat for show. 
All right, so you guys just heard me read that ghetto ass telenova rags to riches, you know what I'm saying, turn my life around and buy the pink Porsche ass story, okay? So this whole situation is crazy. So a lot of y'all probably asking, well, why is Azalea Banks, you know, involved in this? Why is she talking shit? Why is she inserting herself? So in case y'all forgot, y'all remember when Azalea Banks went on The Breakfast Club and she was talking all that shit about Cardi B? Well, Starburn basically wanted to fight Azalea and said, and told Azalea basically meet up with her and Azalea Banks then caught the police on Star Brown. And so they've all been beefing with Azealia Banks ever since then. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this short video of Star Brim talking about the situation and then Azealia Banks basically admitting to, you know, Star Brim threatening her. Check this out. And another thing, y'all sending all these fake threats. I don't have no security. I'm a nobody, bro. Like, I have no... Listen, I don't got no makeup on, but fuck it. Listen, Azealia, if you ain't want to fight, you shouldn't have never responded. My exact words was... What's your location? I want to fight. You said you want to fight me? I said, yes, I want to fight you. Your next response is you're calling the cops. Like, what? I'm confused. It's a difference between liking people and not liking people. I don't give a fuck if you like her. You feel me? A lot of people don't have to like her. I don't like half of my family members. But you're, what you're not going to do is disrespect. What I'm not tolerating is disrespect. Cardi is mine's. Hennessy is mine's. Shima is mine's. Her celebrity is mine's. Gorgeous is mine's. Fanny is mine's. Every person that I'm naming, Gorgeous Gangsta, is mine. These are my friends. Sylvia is mine. These are my friends. You come for mine, you're coming for me. Don't like her. Cool. That's fine. You don't got to like her. A lot of people don't like me. But what you're not going to do is disrespect me and think I'm not going to run down. But don't worry, bitch, because I'm coming. Call the cops. Go ahead. I got bail money. I'm... All right, so you guys just saw the video and you guys also saw what Azealia Banks had to say. So like I said, the entire situation is crazy, but Cardi B needs a PR person, okay? Cardi B, you stop explaining stuff to people who don't give a damn. Half these people in the comment section, they don't care about you or Star Brim. They're just here to sit damn tea. I know I was, okay? And you guys saw the comments of Cardi going back and forth with people. It's like she gets so upset about stuff that's just unnecessary. But I will say this. Cardi is a true friend to Star Brim. You know what I'm saying? Star Brim is the same person that said, I don't care if Cardi's using me to be her pit bull. She can use me. You know, I thought that was crazy. But I will say that Cardi B is a real friend to her. You know, anywhere you saw Cardi, you saw Star Brim. She put her in the music video. She tried to help her out. You know, so I say, you know, that's good that Star Brim turned herself in. Go do your 15 months. You know, calm the fuck down. Stop asking everybody for some damn smoke, okay? You know, come back and just be that woman that you can be. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all were curious about this picture. Y'all want to see Star Brim's before and after. And here you go. Here goes the tea on what Star Brim looked like before the surgery and after the surgery. All right, so you guys just seen those pictures. And, you know, that's the crazy thing. Like, I always look at this like, that's dope that she was able to, you know, get herself out of debt and buy these cars and pay for a good lawyer. But, you know, the moral of the story is you basically have to get plastic surgery to be able to come up. Had she, if she, had she looked the way she looked without the fake titties and the fake ass, one, she would have got a job bartending and making that much money. So, I mean, basically, long story short, you need to fix yourself. You know what I'm saying? Make yourself look like a stripper, then go get a stripper job, and then you too can pay off lawyer fees and get Jeeps and Porsches and shit. I mean, that's what I walked away from with this story. It's like if you're just a regular schmegler person that's built like a little boy, if you're just a regular schmegler girl and you're shaped like a little boy, basically you're going to go do that prison time, okay? That, that's basically what I got from the story, okay? If you're not looking a certain way where you can get a good bartending job and make thousands of dollars per night, 
basically we'll see you in about three to five years. So, I mean, the whole situation is a hot damn mess, okay? So, anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I am glad to be back, honey. Let me know what you guys think about these stories. Everything from Jada Pinkett Smith bringing back the red tabletop. What do you guys think about the whole beef between Chief Keith and 6 9 What do y'all think about Riff Raff and these alleged rape allegations? And then what do you guys think about Cardi B basically going off on social media and going off on Azealia Banks, even though she didn't add her. We know she was talking to Azealia because Azealia was being messy once again and putting Star Brim's business out there, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.